Hi everybody, it's Mr. Simpson here and welcome to Mr. Simpson's Storytime, Storytime number 59. I'm ably assisted by my wonderful daughter Daisy today, again behind the camera. Say hello Daisy. Hello. Hello. And the story we've got for you today is another one by Sue Hendra and it is Duck, the book that went boink. And I hope you really enjoy it. Here we go. Doug and Trevor had been best friends for a long time. They played together every day and didn't like to be apart. One day they were playing berry ball when, oh dear. Bad luck Trevor, said Doug. It's your turn to get it down. Is not, said Trevor. Is too, said Doug. Is not, said Trevor. You always make me climb up there, said Doug crossly. You always say it's my turn when it's not. <sighs> I don't want to play anymore. Fine, said Trevor, and he turned away in a huff. But just then, a great big shovel came down and scooped Doug up. Oh no! What on earth was happening? Doug! cried Trevor. Trevor! cried Doug. When he finally opened his eyes, Doug got quite a surprise. Trevor! he yelled. Help! But Trevor was too far away to hear him. I've got to get home, thought Doug. But how? Then he heard a funny noise. It was a very dizzy fly. He was banging his head against the window. Um, maybe you should try the door, said Doug politely. The door? Great idea. Why didn't I think of that? Ha! I've been here for days. Oh, how can I ever thank you? Said the fly. Doug tried not to laugh. Well, he said, maybe you could take me with you. I'll try, said the fly. You look quite heavy, but here goes. Bzzz, bzzz, wow. Don't drop me in there, cried Doug. Bzz, bzz, away, or oh, there, he gasped. And definitely don't drop me there. Phew, that was close. But the fly was starting to wobble. I don't think I can hold on. And then, plop. Doug landed, splat, in somebody's breakfast. He was just wondering if things could get any worse when they did. Pepper sprinkled onto his nose and... Ah, 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 chow! Doug shot through the air and spun round and round on the ceiling fan, then Boing! He bounced off a sponge cake and popped up a pedal bin. Boing! Boing! Super boing! Which sent him spinning through the air towards the toaster. Bing! He smashed through the toast and began to fall. He grabbed the first thing he could and swung oh, all the way back to exactly where he had started. Doug had to admit things weren't going very well. Will I ever see Trevor again? He said sadly. Then he heard a familiar sound. Bye! It called. It was the fly buzzing out of sight. And that was when Doug noticed that the window was open. Hey, wait for me! He called. How was he going to get out now? Then Doug had an idea. 
Wee! Her my go! cried Doug. The friends were so happy to see each other again. I'm sorry I won't get the ball, said Trevor. I'm sorry I got so cross, said Doug. Tell you what, said Trevor. How about a game of berry ball right now? You're on, said Doug. And all was well until... Oh no, it happened again. Doug looked at Trevor. Trevor looked at Doug. I'll get it, said Trevor. <laughs> Let me, said Doug. No, no, it's definitely my turn, said Trevor. And they were so busy arguing, they didn't hear a familiar sound. <laughs> Catch, said the fly. And they all played happily until the sun went down. I hope you really enjoyed Doug the Bug that went boing. I'll see you next week. Have a lovely weekend. Stay safe. Bye.